we are able to get the data properly from the MPU6050. So we are going to utilize these values, okay, or convert these values to G values, okay, and then we can uh, compare it and based on that we can toggle the LEDs, okay. Now, just exit from the debug mode, okay. So what I am going to do is after reading this, okay, I am going to take the raw values and those raw values I will convert it to actual values okay so take this so ACC raw value as I said how do you convert the raw value to uh, actual value we need to divide it with the corresponding the G values the corresponding G value that I set full scale raising uh, rating I set it to 0 so I need to divide it with this value 13 16 384 16 384.0 you can give okay and then similarly you need to do it for all of that things so let me copy paste this something happened okay this is ay and this is ag and this is ay and h8 okay save it okay why it is showing an error okay so i understood that this is not a uh, pointer i'm sorry so we need to access with the dot operator not with the arrow operator dot save it now we have calculated the um the actual values from the raw values by divided dividing with the the full scale range value okay now we are going to use this uh, actual values and then uh, based on the comparison we are trying to like you know balance the leds okay so let me take if else for you okay so the condition is let me take a uh, abs value f a b s okay and if this is so let me take this one. So is x greater than f a b s of this one? Okay, if x is greater than a y, okay, and again I'm going to compare something like this, and if a and ax is greater than 0 i'm sorry we should not use that so x is greater than 0 then what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on the green led okay so and remaining all leds will going to be on off stage hall underscore gpio i'm going to write pin so LED underscore green and this is the green pin and this is the state I'm going to give GPIO in underscore set and the remaining all LEDs will be in off state so that means if I move the x direction then only green LED will turn on okay so this I'm going to green right so this is red this is also let me take a blue and this is yellow and of course this is also a red this is blue and this one is yellow okay so we will compare the a ax with the ay and if ax is greater than ay and it is showing the positive values that means we are turning the mp6050 into positive direction so when we like you know rotate or turn the mp6050 to a positive direction i want to only turn on the the green led okay 
so else what i am going to do is i am going to turn on the the opposite side value okay so this one will be reset okay i think i need to sorry this is pin this is reset and this will be set this is reset this is reset and here also i need to change this is also reset okay similarly we'll do it for the other two okay else if condition again we need to give and the condition is simple copy paste this so instead of now we are going to compare with y with respect to the x okay and uh, we are going to copy this so if a y greater than 0 okay this will be in reset this is going to be set and uh, this is reset else condition reset reset and this is going to be set okay then else you can turn off all leds reset 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 okay that's all okay let me align this code okay so i'm going to explain uh, again so when ax is greater than ay and if ax giving a positive values we are going to turn on the green led else remaining leds will be in turn off else condition will be like you know the opposite led will turn on okay and the remaining all leds in turn off state similarly for ay ay when it is ay y is in positive direction blue led will turn on and if y is in the negative direction uh, the yellow leds will turn on okay and if we don't see anything then we, all LEDs will go into the research state and let me copy this just to make sure that um, starting we see all LEDs are in properly connected okay, I'll set all these LEDs and I'm going to give a delay of all underscore delay of probably two seconds okay, so that's all for the code okay so click on the project click on the hammer icon to compile the project okay i got an error okay implicit declaration i think you need to include the math function here math library here as include so math dot h save it click on the project again click on the hammer icon to compile the project okay led red underscore pin okay what it is showing okay i think uh, we renamed it wrongly red led ah okay this is the problem okay let me change it to instead of changing the code i'm mm. going to change it to led underscore red generate the code again okay so click on the project again compile the code yeah now we see we didn't get any errors okay so let me go to debug mode to upload the code onto the board now let me upload the code now what i'm going to do is i'm going to like you know rotate the mp6050 i would say okay based on the rotation you see that like any leds are balancing okay that's all about this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching it